Hey everyone and welcome to this brand new episode of the Crypto Intel. My name is Mark and in this episode we're going to be checking out the Matic Polygon. It's listed on Binance as Matic and you probably know that um, because you're on this video. <laughs> so if you're holding on to this coin, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any important Matic news. As you can see in my channel, I do tons of reviews regarding different altcoins on a daily basis. So um without further ado let's check it out so it's currently being traded at 1.85 dollar which is not bad although it's the largest traded coin right now as of today um other than the of course the bitcoin and the ethereum so thematic is seeing huge trading volumes we're talking about 1.2 billion dollars in the past 24 hours that is huge guys that is absolutely huge and if you can see what's going on right here, um, we're currently basically coming down from an all-time high. That was at 2.7 bucks. It was approximately two weeks ago. Um, and, you know, this is a huge danger for the holders. If you're a holder, let go of the coin. I know it's sad to hear, but you probably want to purchase it at a lower price if you're a believer. Um, it has been coming down and it probably will be because all-time highs always result in huge mega failures. Um, there's these little slums going on. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. You know, the coin is great, but you can clearly see here the pattern is going down. Uh, yes, there is this support line that everyone's talking about. There's going to be a break point um, in the very near future. We're talking about in the few days. But uh, unfortunately, there was... Uh, so many losers in this round of a pump that forget about it um, it's not the right time to invest on a long term I'm talking about like for a whole month like it's gonna be slumping and it's probably gonna be slumping right down below uh, to this support level level right here at uh, the one dollar mark approximately so this is its next stop unfortunately um, I've been trading since 2017, so I know exactly what I you know what I'm talking about. And a lot of, if you look at the comments, you can see that people in the video say, what the hell, Mark, how did you predict this? It's so accurate. Well, when you see this for four years straight, day in, day out, <laughs> you get used to it. Um, and it's easy to understand how people think, uh, on the markets. Um, of course, not all markets are predictable. Um, if the Bitcoin has a breakout, then the altcoin season will burst and that will also change a lot of things for a lot of altcoins. Um, but look, currently, um, if we look at the real indicators, see this right here? So look at these pumps right here. So these pumps are actually the trading volumes for the, for these periods of time. So look at this you see all of this green green it basically means that people purchased right so a lot of people are money hungry they want to get out all of these guys that purchased they want to get out and right now you're sitting below them if you're purchasing thematic so what will happen if when they have the chance they will do the sell order and you will lose uh your worth and this is rather dangerous that's unfortunate because a lot of holders out there, they think that, you know, it's great to hold. I believe in this coin. Yeah, that's great, but let it fall in price just a little bit, catch it at a lower rate and have more coins and then you're going to blow up even more, right? Uh, of course, if you want to invest long term, I totally understand. That is up to you. Um, but holding has never been, you know, always a good strategy because most coins just pump and then dump. So you end up seeing on your smartphone, oh, look, I'm rich now, but then one day later you don't have anything left because you held on to the coin this is why flipping is important and i teach this in my further videos that are upcoming on how i flip and i make anywhere from uh one percent to two percent per flip and if you do 30 to 40 flips per day you can easily reach the 30 to 40 percent mark which is way more than just holding onto a coin uh so guys uh let's just zoom out a little bit uh, just to understand the dynamics of this coin as you can see it has been in a dormant state for quite a while right it has been in a really really dormant state and then it woke up so it woke up then it's it's starting to um uh get a little bit colder after all of the 
exchanges that happen at the all time high. So, you know, it looks like it's going to pump, right? But it's not. It's not. There's, again, too many losers. So let me let me zoom in and tell you what's going to happen. So right now, uh, there's this consensus growing amongst the traders at this trade level right here. So this consensus level, it's probably going to fade. You can check out the video in a few days and see if I was right. Um, and then you can come back and watch some more videos about my predictions. But you see here, this is a huge purchase volume. So all of these guys right here, they want out. And all of these people right here, they're trading on their earnings. So what will happen when these guys cash out? This will fall. And it will probably happen sooner than later. So as you can see, there was this lump already. It happened. And I predict the same thing right here in the coming days. So, you know, it, it happens with so many coins. That you, it's too easy to predict. Um, so at this point, my prediction is for the following days, we're talking about a level of um, approximately, I'd say the corridor of the pricing would be somewhere around 80 cents uh, to 1.2 bucks per coin, um, which makes it a great buy at that point. Yes, it will be bouncing on and off for the month of June. So um, I don't see the price range uh, stabilizing anywhere before the end of June because there's going to be too many losers here due to the all-time high that it has generated. Um, so if you don't agree with me, please let me know. I definitely want to know. You know, I love it when people disagree. That way we can have constructive uh, discussions on YouTube, of course. So guys, let me know what you think. I'm really very, very curious to know your opinion also. All right, guys. So see you in the next video.